Hello and welcome. All right, so hopefully you can see me and hopefully you can hear me. I'm using my earbuds. I have no idea if this is working, but I want to get started. Welcome to Short and Snappy Pilates. It's Monday afternoon, 4.30. It was a gorgeous but hot day in Washington, D.C. So here I am, outdoors. Listen, I'm getting started. So if you're there and if you're with me, let's go. Shrug your shoulders on the inhale and unshrug on the exhale. We begin with a breathing exercise so you can get in tune with your body. Inhale, shrug, exhale, unshrug. Today, I'm gonna to start with my left side and then right side, lower the left, lower the right. Lift, lift, down, down. Lift, lift, down, down. Oh, somebody's there, hello, welcome. So I'm gonna shrug my shoulders as I breathe in, breathe in, blow out, blow out. Lift, lift, blow out, blow out. One more time. And then we'll start with some shoulder rolls, loosening up through the shoulders. This morning I trained a client who said her neck had been getting very stiff, especially from doing a lot of reading and sitting at her computer. So if that's you, you know that we're loosening up the shoulders. Yeah, and we'll be loosening up the neck. Lower your arms, but keep them reaching powerfully. My fingertips are sort of like magnetic just sort of floating off of the mat. Tilt your head sideways and tilt to the other. Try not to move too fast. Tilt and tilt. <clears throat> Notice when you tilt away, this arm is stretching the neck. When you tilt away, this arm is stretching the neck. Just one more time. Oh yeah. Raise both arms, inhale. And then big exhale, place your hands on your kneecaps. We're going to round back, but you must hold on. And as you round back, feel your head get heavier and heavier. On inhale, sit up nice and tall. As you exhale, pull your abdominals in, rounding back. Last time, and sit up nice and straight. I'm anxious to get started, so come to sitting at the end of the mat with your feet near the end and your rear end near the 50 yard line. As you know, we'll begin with roll down and roll up. Sitting up tall, use your exhale and draw the abdominals in. We'll do this a couple more times. Inhale. As you exhale, if you're distracted by what's behind me, it's, um, oh, I don't know, is it the Potomac? I can see Georgetown and I can see the water gate. And of course, Roslyn is over there. All right, I'm going all the way back. I'm underneath the shade of a big tree. Oh, this feels fantastic. All right, come with me. Inhale, rolling up. Of course, you know, roll down and roll up is considered a warm up. What you're doing is warming up your spine and more importantly, warming up your abdominals. Take a deep breath, exhale, rolling up. These first few roll down and roll ups are relatively simple. Each of these now are gonna become more difficult. As you exhale, rolling up, roll up and lift one leg. Now you can hang on to it. Yeah, look at my socks are too big and bend and straighten a few times. Come on back slowly and take your time. Don't crash and no excuses. I'm gonna leave my legs straight, slowly down, and then big kick, one. Here's a big kick, two. Stay stable, nothing else should be moving. Four, so we've got two more. Five, hold number six. Continue to stretch this leg, bring the other leg down. Now this may take a moment to organize. Both legs are straight. Point your feet and then leg circles begin. These leg circles are smooth and fluid. Avoid bobbling around, stay calm and still. Arrive at the top and reverse. Head back the other way. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and just one more. Now you're gonna hold on, lift your head, and as you roll up, Climb up, climb up, climb up. Whichever leg it is, bring the opposite hand on the outside ankle. Now I'm gonna turn and rotate and look back behind me. What's that? Oh, more water gate. All right, come on in, put both knees bent, feet flat, and very slowly rolling back. Once you're down, take a deep breath. Exhale, rolling up, roll it catch the other leg. It's sort of an afterthought, yeah? Stretch it out a few times, complain about your socks, inhale, knees bend, exhale, straighten. 
Are you going to hold on to that leg and come on back? No crashing and no excuses. As soon as you're down, take a last look at that leg. Keep it straight. Slowly down and swiftly kick one. Swiftly kick two. Here's number three. Keep moving. Four. Here is five. Last one is six. Now keep it straight. Point your foot and send the other leg down. Now get organized. Both legs straight. Circle. Now we did only about six circles in each direction, so each of these six should be a high quality. Don't get sloppy now. The leg arrives at the top and reverse, keeping your ribs nice and still, keeping your hips nice and still. A few more circles, fluid and round. Let's pause at the top and bring that leg back. Oh, that's a nice stretch here. Lift your head. Now, as you roll up, you want to climb up the leg. This is sort of an abbreviated version of an exercise called climbing a tree. I've got my opposite hand on the outside ankle. I'll be twisting and looking back behind me. Then you can return to the leg with both knees bent. We're going to continue, roll down, all the way down, get your bearings. This is inhale. As you exhale, rolling up. Sit up tall, inhale, come halfway back. Now when you stop, make sure your shoulders are down. Keep yourself still as you lift one leg and then lift the other. Now my feet are touching. When I roll back, I'm gonna get my legs to close. The inner knees are touching. Inhale. As you exhale, rolling up. Keep it smooth and fluid. I might be lucky on a sloped piece of landscape here. Huh. All right, I'm rolling again. Blow, go. Exhale. Wow. One more. Abs, 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 abs. Don't cheat. All right, so this is the one. I'm gonna roll up. Oh, yeah. The hundreds is next. The name of the exercise refers to the counting. I'll do the counting. Get your ribs down, but keep your head up. Arms are straight and pumping down. Your accent or emphasis is on down, 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 down. Breathe in, three, four, five, blow out, three, four, five. Breathe in, three, four, five, blow out, three, four, five. Three, two, three, four, five, keep the chest open. Four, two, three, four, five, long arms. Five, two, three, four, five, I will straighten one leg. Six, two, three, four, five, straightening the other leg. Seven, two, three, four, five, squeeze your legs closed. Eight, two, three, four, five, smile at the passers-by. Nine, two, three, four, five, heads up. 10, two, three, four, five, exhale, three, four, five, and rest. We did 10 cycles of 10 breaths if I was not too distracted. And you're just gonna rest for a moment. Continuing on, my knees bent at 90 degrees. This is one of my favorite really subtle stealth-like exercises because this sort of creeps up on you when you're not paying attention. Well, pay attention. My leg is touching softly down at the mat and returning upright. Each time, tap softly and return. Close your legs, both legs, that's double the effort, you know, both legs. I'm gonna add some arms so my arms are ready. Are you? Arms come back, heels tap, exhale to lift. We took an easy exercise, it was easy, and now we've made it a little bit more compound. I'm adding lift your head. My head is lifted. Basically, my arm, z, my arm, z, plural, on the outside of my head. Crunch your abdominals as best you can. Crunch. Yay. The water looks so beautiful, doesn't it? Yes, concentrate on your abs, on your abs, on your abs, people. Come on. All right, two more times. Maybe I should have a class outside. All right, enough dreaming. On the last one, listen, I'm up, I'm up. Stay, 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 stay. Bring one knee into your chest, hang on. You know what we're doing next? The name of the exercise, single leg stretch. Switch legs, stay for another moment, give it a good tug, get yourself organized, and go. Switch, switch, you could breathe in, blow out, 
breathe in, blow out, scratch a mosquito bite, straighten the leg every time your head stays up. Ha, eight, seven, six, five, four. I think I'm on a rock. <laughs> All right, last one. Head down and rest. Please keep your head down. The next exercise, the legs are straight. It's called double straight legs. So, you know, double straight legs. Slowly, slowly, about halfway down. Find your deep abdominals and wait for your legs to return. Yes, I should have put on some bug spray. I didn't think about how delicious I am to bugs. I'm like a buffet out here. Inhale, nice long legs. Feel your deep abdominals. Oof. Ooh, I'm adding arms. Arms, inhale, arms and legs in opposite directions. Feel free to challenge yourself, but remember the rules here. Challenge yourself, but don't injure yourself. As you exhale, wait for those legs to return vertically. Now, I'm gonna do one more, and this is the last one. When I arrive, I'll pause and I'll wait for you. This is one leg in the opposite arm, and they happen to be opposites, yeah? down to the floor and wait. So to be clear, this is my right hand, left foot, and there, down to the floor, and then exhale to lift. Inhale, down, exhale, lift. Inhale, down, exhale. Oh, this feels so good. I'm gonna do one more, each couple, and couple number two. Rest. The next exercise is roll over, and as you know, we're going over backwards, and oftentimes my hair or my hair barrette gets in the way. Get ready. When you exhale, roll over. Once you get your hips in the highest position, you're going to want to organize your skirt, mm -hmm. and your toes might touch the floor. Take your time, slow roll, one vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae. Now that's an easy enough exercise, so more challenging would be arms up. As you exhale, of course you have to fix your skirt, but my legs are heavy and long and my toes are tapping the floor. A skirt is not cooperating. Slowly coming down, take your time. One vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae. Okay, that was successful. Last one, straight legs only. Straight legs roll over. Straight. Oh, I love this. Oh, all right. Toes tapping the floor. Toes tapping the water bottle. Slowly coming down. One vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae at a time. Now when you land, keep your legs straight and grab one. This is my favorite leg and I got an itch right here. Lift your head up nice and high. Scissors, or single straight leg, is next. Switch, catch, give it a good time. I think that's a Delta airplane behind me. Can you see it? Switch, catch, pull. Switch, catch, pull. Switch, catch, pull. Switch, catch, pull. Here's... How about four? Three, two, and one. Hands behind your thigh, send it forward and bring your chest up. Send it forward and bring your ribs up. Send the legs forward and come on up twice more. Meet you at the top. Stay. I'm gonna walk up. I'm all the way at my ankles so I can sit up a little taller. My shoulders are down, point your feet. Arms up, arms open arms front and lower your legs down. I'm gonna scoot back and get off of this rock. Man. Straighten out your legs and spine twist is next. Now the name of the exercise spine twist tells you we're gonna be doing some twisting. My arms are in front. I'm sitting up. Inhale. Turn toward me as you exhale and this long sweeping arm is open wide. Inhale right to the center and knock the other arm in action. Inhale through the center. Boom. Bring your head with you and be curious as you look back. I mean, your view might not be as good as mine or maybe it's better.
one more. You paying attention? Rotate. Okay, I'm center now, and this is flat back. When I reach flat back, I want my tail to point forward. I want the crown of my head to reach out, reach, and then melt. Now melt, surrender, literally. Allow your head to bob from side to side. Feel some stretching long through the back of the legs, but also along your low back. Come to center and return to the seated position, sitting up really, really tall. When we begin this time, it's head first. Imagine your head to be like a basketball going right through the hoops of your arms. Sink, sink, sink. Now there is such a thing as going too low. We really don't want our head to touch the ground. We want the spine to stretch. The low back lumbar spine at the thoracolumbar junction. Yes, I said it, thoracolumbar junction. Reach, Ooh. Come on back. Ooh. Watch the little bugs that are crawling on your legs. What's next? I'll be turning toward you and reaching past my foot. This is three, two, one, the saw. Yeah, we should be exhaling. I'll go. And the last time is over here. And checking in. Now, the next exercise is called the tabletop, which you know that comes from yoga. But tabletop is an excellent lesson, stage one, before we go to reverse plank. Feet are flat, my feet are firmly planted on the mat. My hands are back, or you can be on your knuckles. Inhale. As you exhale, tabletop, being the name of the exercise, implies that you are about as flat as a table. Try to power, power the buttocks, lift, and open the chest. Inhale. And as you exhale, come down like a folding table, yeah? But in slow motion, don't collapse. Stretch between the shoulder blades so the back is nice and wide. And then we'll do the exercise one more time. Now I'm gonna add a single leg, so let's rehearse what that's gonna look like. This will be a straight leg lift. I'll cross at my knee, I'll straighten it and put it down on the floor. Yeah, you'll be fine. Feet planted, hands planted, inhale. On your exhale, whoosh. I want to be as straight and as evenly distributed as I can be as a table. My one leg is straight. I'll cross here, I'll straighten and bring it down. Other leg, stay cool. This is straight, cross, straight and down. Oh, that's enough, inhale. And as you, now you may have felt that we could have done another set, but it's likely that you could have done a really bad set. It's better to do one really neat, precise set than to have done two badly. Okay, so with that lecture done, let's do it again. Inhale. On your exhale, whoosh. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Be flattened. Second leg is straight and cross, straight, and then the other leg, straight and cross, straight, feet on the floor, fix the pelvis up, inhale, come on down. So I'll stretch out my legs so I can stretch out my upper back and stretch down my low back and really try to stretch. All right. It is time to move on. We're going face down. I'll meet you on your belly. Once you get your legs out, they're open fairly wide. Once you get your elbows down, also about as wide as the mat. Lifting and lowering a number of times, as you know, we're limbering our back. Sink, lift. Now do this a couple more times and concentrate on how it feels. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. And if you use your eyes,
eyes like headlights. Look forward the way your headlights aim forward on your car. Lift. Lift. This is the last one. Arrive at the top. I'm feeling pretty good today, so I'm bringing my elbows in a little narrower and then lifting just that much higher. Pull your abs up so that it's not all sitting on the mat. Suck it up. Using your neck, turn your head and look back. You might find your foot there. Other side, rotate. Center, eyes on the horizon, and come all the way down. Now the next exercise, we're gonna take it in slow motion, but your legs must come closer together. My arms are also straight. I'm a little reticent to touch this grass, so I won't be too heavy. All right, anyway, lift, leg and arm, down, switch, leg and arm, down, switch, lift, down, lift, down. Now, not only are you lifting, but you're also supposed to be stretching, so lengthen, down, reach, and down, reach, down, don't hold your breath, hey, four more, yeah. Three more, woohoo, two, yay, last one, rest. Okay, that was just a warm up. So what we're supposed to be doing is swimming much faster. No bending elbows, no bending knees, no shaking your head. So what's left? Straight arm and straight legs. So inhale, arms and legs, lift, keep your core turned on. Alternate your arms and legs. Inhale, three, four, five, exhale, three, four, five. Inhale, three, four, five, exhale, three, four, five, rest. I'm gonna sit back in child's pose. It's the first child's pose of the class, so make sure that you're getting as much stretch through your rounded back. Now, I much prefer to wrap my arms around my legs. And by now, my jaw is slack. You should be breathing. Little bugs are calling on my mat. All right, I'm getting ready to do an all fours exercise on hands and knees, but I'll be turning away so my ass is not aiming out to the public. Pull your abs up, straighten one leg. It doesn't matter, just choose a leg. The opposite arm is forward. Now you may or may not have something to see yourself I have a reflection, I can see my alignment. My ankle is flexed, so my leg and arm, leg and arm, lift, lift. Now to make this exercise more challenging, my bottom foot is off the mat. Four, three, two, hold it up at the top. You can reach backward, grab your foot, and then raise your leg. Once again, my bottom foot is off the mat. Close your eyes for another moment. See if you can't maintain your balance. All right, come on down. I'm on all fours. I found a soft spot over here, straightening my leg, long and straight. Pull your abs up, Vivian. Opposite arm, my foot is detached, <laughs> detached from the mat. Arm and leg, I like to flex the ankle, by the way. Arm and leg, arm and leg, lift, lift. Belly up, belly up to the bar, boys. Gonna loosen your butt. Pause, I'm gonna reach back and grab my ankle. You say, where's that song from? Where's that song from? The unsinkable Molly Brown. All right, I'm up, my bottom foot off the mat, my abs are up, I have bellied up. All right, sit back. This position again, child's pose, your options, you know, your arms could be in front, or you can wrap your arms around your legs, and then your jaw goes slack. We have yet another exercise to do, which is great for back strengthening. So how does that go? I'm gonna bring one leg in front of me, and you may recognize this as the pigeon stretch. I use the front edge of my mat, I'm using my mat to square off my shoulders. Come on down and give it a moment. You can scratch another mosquito bite. Sink down. I know they say you're not supposed to scratch, but I can't help it. I can't help it. 
All right, I'm down, and I'm down for the stretch. But now that I've been down, I'm gonna reach back and grab my foot. Oh man, caught a cramp. No cramping. Oh, well, that means I'm not hydrated. All right, pull it in. Oof. I hope you had a good 4th of July. I had a wonderful outing. I was invited to a friend's for a rooftop fireworks viewing, complete with food and wine and some great company. Oh. All right, give it a tug here. Boom, let it go. Come to plank, please. Come through plank. Second leg. Send it forward. Get yourself down and try not to be too crooked or twisted. Oh. I am squaring off using the very straight edge of my mat. Back leg is long. Ooh, it's a beautiful breeze blowing right now. Yeah. There's people out there on the water doing that stand-up, what's it called? Stand-up surfing? Stand-up paddling? Yeah, okay, reach back, grab your foot. Who cares about them? Yeah, I just got a cramp again. Oof. All right. Oof. All right. Concentrate on your stretch. Focus for a few moments. Give it a good tug, bending the elbow. All right. Let it go. All that stretching, plank, 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 all that stretching is important for this next exercise. Watch. My legs go kick, kick, stretch. Kick, kick, stretch. I'm using the word stretch because literally you should not be slamming your foot down on the mat, okay? Take this seriously. This is kick, kick, stretch. Kick, kick, stretch. Kick, kick, stretch. One more. All right, my socks are making me crazy. So listen, I'm also going to use my arms and this is my water bottle. You don't need a water bottle, but if you have a towel, it could work. If you have a Pilates ring, it could work. Hold on to the ends. My legs are much, much closer together now. This is kick, kick, stretch. Notice my arms are long and straight. Here's kick, kick, stretch. Kick, kick, stretch. Now you do not have to do this fast. You could do it much slower. I'll slow down. Kick, kick, stretch. Kick, kick, stretch. Here's the last one. Meet me at the top and flutter your legs. Flutter. Lift a little higher. And you got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Ugh. Ugh. Whose idea was this? Sit back and rest. Uh, well, next is rolling like a ball. Now, my favorite rolling like a ball exercise, there are varieties available, is to not roll on a rock. So, you could do this with your hands at the bottoms of your ankles and there are other variations called the seal for example in which your arms are wrapped around your leg my elbow on the inside of my thigh with my hand on the outside ankle this also requires you to be very rounded and scooped so i'll go inhale exhale <laughs> i kind of knew i wasn't gonna make it let's try this again we should lift you should I don't know if you can hear that. So here's the pulse, 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 pulse. I am pelvic thrust, pelvic thrust, pelvic thrust. Stick with it. I just got to turn this off. Or maybe it won't let me. All right. Four more, three more, two more. Concentrate. Melting down one vertebrae, one vertebrae at a time. Oh my gosh, next time I do this outdoor thing, I've got to plan ahead. I'm going to do a little bit better job next time. Maybe Thursday when I do my foam rollerama. All right, bridging. So listen, I'm at the top of my bridge. This is really about a 90% lift. I will pelvic thrust, pelvic thrust. But 
I want to alternate so that I'm emphasizing one hip and then the other. There are so many variations of bridging, and this is only the second, or maybe third variation of bridging, and I'm gonna stick with this for a little bit. Right side, left side, right side, left side, so you get heavier and heavier into your foot, into your foot. We've got four more, three more, two and one. Center yourself and melt one vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae at a time. In the interest of time, and because I'm becoming a buffet for the bugs, hug your knees into your chest. Now, I am gonna do a little bit of a stretch, so grab onto one leg oof, and stretch the other. If your hamstrings are really tight, it's really better to just stretch one leg at a time. So I'm leading you through single leg hamstring stretch. It's best if your leg could be straight, wherever straight is, and pull from there as opposed to having your knee sitting on your shoulder, but this is not even close to straight. Straight tin and then pull. <sighs> yeah? All right, I'm gonna switch legs. Once you've switched legs, oh, determine where is straight. Then you can soften and straighten a number of times and pull your leg back and pull your leg back. Yeah? So we'll do it one more time. And then both legs. You've got both legs. Knees bending and legs straightening. Knees bending, legs straightening. I want to emphasize knees bent. So I'm pressing the soles of my feet together, holding on at my ankles, and pull down. You've got to get some oxygen to all of those stressed areas. So breathe in and blow. I'm going to straighten out the legs and open so they're open about shoulders width. You know this exercise is open leg rocker, like a rocking chair, rock back and forth, open leg rocker. Arrive, and every time you arrive, the real test is, are you sitting up a little taller? And we'll close the legs. I'll open, I'll do it again. Roll back. Oh. Close, open, one more. Roll back. Ha! I'm gonna stay closed and I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> arms overhead, arms wide, arms front, and lower your legs down. Yay! I think I got it done! All right, so before I get too celebratory, this is inhale, shrug, exhale, unshrug. One more, inhale, shrug, unshrug. Bring your hands back behind you and exaggerate the expansion across your chest. Make a big deal out of opening, open wide. Ugh. Mm, 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 mm. Free your shoulders, but keep your arms long. One side bend. Now listen, I'm gonna scoop my abdominals in and sweep across the grass to get to the other side and come on up. Here is my side stretch. Ah, scoop the abdominals and sweep across the grass and arrive. Stay centered, take the last deep breath with me. Inhale and All right, so I applaud you. If you are staying to the end, I appreciate that very much. I'm going to crawl to the camera to turn you off. On Thursdays, foam rollerama. Please let me know that you could hear me okay. I didn't do a test. Hey, I, I think it's Jerry, yay. There were some other people that popped on. Leslie's there, hey. All right, I'm finishing. Thank you, bye.